Hello, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. I'm so happy that you found me. This gentle Pilates class that we are going to do is specifically created for the ladies with fibroids, endometriosis, or even during menstruation. The goal for this class is to improve circulation and mobility in the midsection area and pelvis, as well as strengthening the hip area to give you that extra support with the inflammation that you're going through. Let's get moving, good things will happen. So let's meet me on the mat. We're going to start with some relaxation. So if you have an easy access to a sofa or dining table, not dining table, dining chair, you may grab it or come closer to the sofa or the chair. So, or if you don't have any access, you can absolutely do this on the mat and with the feet on the floor, which I will be doing. So let's go ahead and lounge on our back. Turn to the side and roll to your back. So if you have a sofa nearby or a dining table nearby, you may have your feet or your legs resting on the sofa or on the chair like so. And this will be the position that we are going to do our breathing. If you don't have any excess, that's fine. Have your feet down on the floor and have your feet slightly wider than the pelvis and bring your knees together. Your pelvis, your body should be in a relaxed state. Your arms will be reaching out to the side. You can turn the palms up or you can turn the palms down. Have them slightly wider. C'est la vie. Pick a position that you feel most comfortable in. Taking a moment to arrive on the mat. Perhaps close your eyes here if you wish to or just dim the eye level. Looking down a little bit. Or again, you know, just completely, completely close your eyes. We're just going to start with some breathing. Just observe your breath. We inhale through the nose. We exhale through the mouth. Just observe how much air you are inhaling and how much air you are exhaling. Listen to the music of your breath. Observe. Are you actually breathing? Can you actually breathe longer? Are you breathing shallow? Are you breathing onto your top of the chest, middle of the chest, lower rib cage? Are you breathing into your belly? I don't know. You tell, you observe yourself. Tell yourself how you're breathing today. And I'd like you to scan your body and just feel if there's any part of your body that you're feeling a little tense, a little tender, a little sore, a little uncomfortable. See if you can, with your breath, allow that area to soften a little bit. To just get into a more comfortable position. Maybe it means that you may rock the pelvis a little bit to ease the lower spine, maybe. Do whatever it takes. Maybe you need to roll the shoulder, turn the head, wriggle your hands, yawn for a moment move the forehead, whatever it takes for you to just soften that area that you don't feel too much discomfort. In my um, class for period relief workout or Pilates for period, I talk about at the start of the class in this breathing relaxation, a podcast that I was listening to by Rob Dial. We are what we think, we are what we say, and we are what we do. We are magician and we can change ourselves into whatever person we want to be by our thoughts, by how we do, by what we say. So here, take a moment as you breathe in, you thinking good energies coming into the body. You bring positive thoughts into your breath. 
Allow that positivity to just seep in through the body. And as you exhale, you have a sense of softening that we talked about before into the body. You're doing this, so you want to feel better for your body. So that's a really good thing. You're here with me on the mat. So let's stay here and let's make this whole class a beautiful process for yourself. Inhaling good energy, exhaling, softening, melting away. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, bringing the thought that you are doing this so the pain will be in your past. You are doing this because you love your body, because you love yourself and you want to feel better. And that is a beautiful gratitude to yourself, my friend. Let's do two more inhalation here. Long, long inhalation. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. And slowly open your eyes. Doesn't that feel wonderful? I feel so good whenever I do the breathing relaxation. Now let's move on. I want you to, if you are on the sofa, take your feet off the sofa or the chair and bring your feet down. If you are on the floor already, just bring the feet to a parallel position and have your knees pointing up. Place your hands like so. Fingertips to the lower pelvis and your thumb together like a triangle just in front of the pelvis here. Now I'd like you to place your position of the pelvis where you feel most comfortable. We're not talking about neutral spine, neutral pelvis. I just want you to be comfortable today because I don't know how you feel today. Only you, you know how you feel. So if neutral feels tender in your lower spine, pull back and let the lower back release on the floor. Do what feels good for you today, okay? And here, I want you to just breathe in, into the lower rib cage. Then exhale and feel the abdominal deflating, pulling away from your hands. In breath, rib cage widening, exhale, abdominal sinking away from the lower spine. Again, you are welcome to let the lower back rest on the floor. And so your bottom is slightly curling up. And if that feels good for you, you are definitely welcome to in breath. Exhale. But if you can keep your pelvis rather towards a, there's a, a, towards a neutral position where there's a little gap underneath your pelvis, I invite you to do so in breath. Exhale, and in breath, tuning into the lower abdominal here. You might feel a lot of inflammation at the moment and you don't feel like you can pull anything. Trust me, you are doing something. So just try your best. Inhale, last one. And then we're gonna take that breath into some pelvic rocking. So we in breath. Exhale, as you deflate the abdominal, we're gonna rock the pelvis. And then inhale, we're gonna rock it over to the other side. We're gonna start mobilizing the lumbar spine, the pelvis region, and getting more circulation happening in that area. In breath, exhale. Again, go to the range that you feel comfortable. In breath. Exhale, rock away. And if you feel comfortable with this, you don't need your hands in front, of, in front of your pelvis, take your arms by the side and continue rocking. Inhale. Maybe you may become larger in your rocking that your whole pelvis lift off, perhaps. Again, you know, just move. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, two more. Last one. 
Okay, now I want you to have your hands pressing down against your thigh at the sort of the hip area there. Now I want you to here, as you inhale, push one hip down so you're lengthening that side and the opposite side will rise up towards your waist. So just stretch out and release. And then lengthen the other side down and shorten the opposite side. And inhale, lengthen and reach. And in breath. And see if you can get a lot of, a lot of movement or more range of movement in the pelvis. So reach again and reach again and again i don't mind you to be an imprinted back if that feels good for you today okay and reach and again and reach pull away and then pull away one more each side pull away and pull away and come back okay now arms long by the side Settle the pelvis into a comfortable position. We breathe out, allow the lower abdominal to sink into the spine without disturbing the pelvis position, whatever that is for you today. And then slide the leg away from me on the floor, hoping that we can maintain the placement of the pelvis. And exhale, draw back. And then the other side, inhale, the pelvis maintain its placement. Exhale, draw back. Inhale, reaching out push away like you're pushing a door exhale you can also place your hands on the hip joint and the rib cage so while you're doing this exercise that you're maintaining the space between the ribs and the hips exhale other side in breath exhale one more each side in breath exhale last one in breath exhale good job okay stay there you can keep your hands there we're going to do single leg opening so we open one thigh out to the side maintaining the pelvis placement and then you return the leg back and over to the other side maintaining the pelvis and the rib cage the midline and come back continue i'm going to come forward here so have the leg in the same placement and then we're going to open one leg out to the side this area should stay boom stable and then we go open to the other side make sure you're not twisting the pelvis as the leg drop and again and open in breath exhale in breath only go as far as you can maintain stability out in breath Exhale, continue. I'm going to go back to my mat and keep opening and closing the legs. We'll go one more set together. We open, we fall in. Last one, we open and we fold in. Okay, now again, rock the pelvis if you feel a little stiff in the back. All right, now we're going to lift the leg closer to me. So we're going to think about a deep fold in the hip joint. Again, the focus here is to create, to teach stability in the pelvis. So we fold the leg up through the hip joint while we maintain the stability in the pelvis and we exhale, we take it down. We inhale here. So I'm not very strict about what angle your knee should be, what angle your hip should be, but I just want you to move the thigh up and down through a deep fold in the hip joint while maintaining the placement of the pelvis and the midline, the waistline. And exhale, inhale. You can have your hands again as a tactile cue, fingertips on the hip joint and the thumb on the rib cage. Deep fall, exhale, in breath. May feel a little catchy in the hip joint here. Just walk around it and in breath. I like you to experience a smooth transition lifting up and going down. One more. Exhale, all right. Switch the other leg without dropping the pelvis. We're going to a deep fall through the hip joint. So we're going to recruit that lower abs and we're going to fall in and 
and folding. And folding. And observe if there is one side that feels a little more challenging um, while you're lifting up and you find it very unstable. See if you can work around it and create more stability. Perhaps you're gonna to have to recruit more abdominal. Perhaps you're gonna recruit more back muscle. All right, so the front and the body, the front body and the back, but it needs to work together so the hip flexors can take your leg up and take it down here. And folding. And last one, we fold and lower. Brilliant. Okay, let's bring the legs together. Open your arms out to the side, squeeze the legs, glue the thighs together for the spine twist supine. Over to me as we inhale, we rotate from the waistline. Now, the thighs should be together. We move from the waistline. Exhale, we come back to the center. Inhale over to the other side. Exhale. The shoulder needs to be down on the floor while we're rotating the spine. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Last one. In breath. Control the movement. Exhale. And let's do one more each side actually. In breath. Exhale. Last one in breath. And exhale. All right. Feet down, separate the feet slightly apart in a parallel position. Arms long by the side. Let's take ourselves to a pelvic curl. So we go ahead, we draw the abdominal in. I want you to rock the pelvis. Yeah, use the abdominal. Then we're going to use the hamstring to allow the spine to peel off the floor gradually to the bridging position here. Now, maybe you may not want to go so high, just go to a lower position where you feel comfortable in the lower spine. Adjust it. You don't have to be in one straight line like I have here. You may tuck in a little bit more. And exhale, roll the spine down. So I just want you to give yourself a little freedom and listen to your body. What feels better for you in the exercise? And exhale, roll it up. What feels better today may feel different tomorrow. In breath. Exhale. Allow a deep stretch in the spine as you go down. Let's do two more times. Exhale, deep flexion in lower spine. We peel up the spine, use the hamstring to a maximum height. Your maximum height, not my maximum height. And exhale, roll down. And release, it feels so good if you do it correctly here. So really thinking deep flexion to roll up and chain that abdominal. Then as you go down, I'm thinking I'm lengthening my head away from my shoulder and I'm stretching my spine down. Can I get every single bone down to the floor before I take the next one down? And then brilliant. Okay, now fold one leg up. Press the hands against the thigh. Fold the other leg up without jerking your back off the floor. So control. Okay, and the other hand comes up. And again here, you know, you can press your lower back down here, but I want you to not squeeze your glute too much, but I allow you to allow the abdominal to sink and lengthen the back down to the floor. Pick a pelvis position that is suitable for you today. So I keep repeating myself that sentence there. So I want you to press the hands down and I want you to put a break on your thigh as we breathe out. So we go, press down. So you're gonna feel that abdominal muscle starting to kick in here and release. Exhale, so contracting, pressing down and release. One more time, exhale, pressing down keeping space in your neck and release. All right, lower one foot down, second leg down, turn your body, face me. And we bend the knees, we stack the legs together and have your feet aligned with the spine. Moving to our chest opener, bottom hand behind your head, 
and top arm in front of you here. So imagine you have a wall behind you. I want you to rest your back against the wall, your pelvis and your feet here. And I want you to recruit the lower waistline so the oblique muscle is on and you're not sinking down to the floor. So yeah, yeah, there you go. And take the arm forward. So the chest opener, we're going to reach forward. We're gonna take the arm so the arms are sideways to your shoulder and then we're going to rotate through the spine and follow your eye through and take the arms behind you but hoping that the knees stay together and we take the arms up and we close you inhale reach up to me and up to the sky and back and reach up and close two more times inhale and back inhale and use your breath here inhale explore how much air can you take in when you open the arms behind you and exhale reach up to the sky and come back all right, and return yourself back. All right, I want you to extend the legs long and bottom arm is long for the side lift here. So squeezing the legs together, one straight line, lifting the underneath waistline, take the top hand down here. Then we breathe out, reach the legs away. We're gonna lengthen the lower waist down to the floor. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath, exhale. Your legs are still floating when they are lowered. Two more, we're working the top obliques here. Last one, and come back down. Now bend the bottom knee and half the feet forward. Again, recruit the bottom waist up. So there are two ways of doing this. You can have your hand here or you can have your hand pushing the top hip away so we know that you are in a good placement here. So we're gonna work our glute. This is where we're gonna strengthen the muscle around the hips so give you the extra support. All right, now from here, I want you to relax the foot here, right? Now we're gonna lift up. We're going to do 10 on each, two and three. Observe how I'm not really moving my pelvis and my waistline here. I'm taking the movement just in the hip joint. The thigh muscle goes up and down and I lost count, of course. Let's do three more up and two and one. Now we take the leg forward, folding through the hip. Try not to tuck the bottom under. We lift up and down and back. We go forward. And we go three. Now it's going to feel a little bit, you're going to create a lot more heat or a little bit more heat each time as you move the leg up. So just do one movement at a time. You know, this is gonna be really good for your pelvis. Strengthen the glute muscle here and help your back to be more supported. Let's go four more here. One step at a time, or one movement at a time. Always remind me of, you know, when you're hiking, you're like, okay, I'm looking at the mountain, okay, I can do it. One step at a time. This is what I want you to think about. I'll get there one step at a time. I can see the mountain, that's okay. We'll get there one step at a time. So one movement at a time here. We go one more time here, and we go forward and up, down and back. Now let's take it forward again and stay. We're gonna drop it and lift. Let's do 20 here, so drop, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, another ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then bring it back, bring it down, well done. Now on your two, bring the knees together, stack them, have the feet aligned with the pelvis again. We are going to do our clamp. So there's more. We go open up. Again, the pelvis stays stable. And two, 
one movement at a time. We'll get there. Three and four and five. Stabilize the pelvis. And six and seven and eight and nine. Last one. Ten. Well done. All right. Straighten the bottom leg. Cross the top leg over. Stay in the external rotation at top leg. Press the leg away. Flex the bottom foot and lift. And down. And two. And three. You are doing great things for your hips at this point of time here. So hang on there. I know they can be burning, but we're almost there. And four more. Three. Two. Last. Well done. All right, release the leg. And let's give our bottom a little hammering. All right, release that glute muscle. Well done. Okay, let's come up. Oh, it's a bit of a work, isn't it? Let's go to the other side. All right, we'll start with the chest opener, yeah? And bottom hand bent, legs together, top arms forward here, and we go reach forward as you inhale, arm to the sky, and then rotate through the trunk, and arms go back. And we exhale, we close back. Inhale, reach forward and up, and to the back. And we close and we come back in. Two more. We reach forward, up, to the back. Just enjoy this. Exhale, explore. How much range can you give? How much range can you do? How much range can you give yourself? And out and bring it back. Come forward. All right, let's go. Move on to our side lift. So extend the legs long. Bottom arm is long, top hand in front of you. Again, create space underneath the waistline. We breathe out. We lengthen. We breathe out. And lengthen. Try to keep the legs together. And lengthen. Three more. And two. Last one. And well done. Okay. Now let's go into your gluteal series. So we have the bottom knee in front, top leg long. You can have your hand on the pelvis and push that pelvis away. So you can recruit that lower abs. Just a reminder. So you're going to recruit the lower abs to stabilize the pelvis. Relax the foot, we lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, one step at a time, one movement at a time. Don't rush into it. Two more. Last one. We take it forward and up, down and back, and a two, up and back, and a three, up and back. And a four, up and back, and a five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. We go forward, we go drop, and for two, and a three, and a four, and a five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, another ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Home, back. Well done. Okay, let's go into your clam. Take the legs together. Have your feet aligned with the spine, and we open and we go down. We open and go down. And three. Now, if you're feeling the burn, it means that you are, you have your pelvis in a good placement. So keep it up, keep it up. 
and stabilize the pelvis. Again, four more. And three, two, last one. Well done, okay, switch. Bottom leg is long, top one over. Press the top arm against the thigh, dorsiflex the bottom leg, lift the underneath waistline, and we lift. And done. And two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Well done. All right, let go of the legs. And it's time to hammer your bottom. Well deserved hammering. All right, let's come up onto modified quadruped position. So what it is, it's basically your legs, your thigh is not aligned with the hips. So you have your hands underneath the shoulder. Your pelvis is somewhere between the heel and the knee here. All right, so we press through the arms. Spine is long here. We breathe out. I want you to just draw the abdominal muscle in. So pull the belt around your waistline and pull the zip up from the pubic bone to your belly button. And release. Again, breathe out. And in breath. Two more, breathe out. So imagine you're wearing a very tight pair of jeans and you wanna zip that jeans up. You're gonna feel that lower abs drawing up towards the belly button. And then you're going to belt yourself around the waistline. Last one, exhale. Now hold that, push off the floor, float your knees and stay there for five, four, three, two, one, release down, one more time. Push off the floor, float the belly and stay. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Cat stretch here, we breathe out, we run, curling, 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 curling. So if I have a bunny tail here, my bunny tail will try to tuck under towards my feet and then lengthening through the spine and arch the upper back. Exhale, rounding, push off the floor with the hands. Inhale, extending. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, extending. Two more, exhale. Inhale. Last one, exhale. In breath, extend, extend and arch and release. Okay, have your legs facing forward here for our sponge stretch. Have your feet slightly wider than the pelvis. Now, the key point is to have or create a long back here. So you may have to bend the knees if the flexibility is not available for you today, but if you can straighten the legs to a maximum, the arms come forward. We breathe out, we roll down the spine, we bring the body forward, inhale, exhale, we roll up, we sit upright. Exhale, roll down forward and exhale roll up again exhale just move the spine forward and down exhale roll up one more exhale we roll down in breath exhale we roll up and stay cross your hands so your fingers on your shoulder Stay tall like a queen and then rotate and double breath towards me. Keep the legs quiet. Other side. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Exhale. Last set. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Release. 
and let that go. Excellent. It's time to go on to our belly for back extension exercises. But I want to give you the option of how you can support your lower spine if it doesn't feel great for you today while you're lying prone, which is on your belly. So I have a towel here prepared. You may grab a towel. You can pause the video and come and join me again if you need the towel. Otherwise, you don't have to. You can just do it normally, traditionally on a mat. So I fold my towel. So they are of an appropriate height for you to support your belly or your lower back. So you can place the towel on the floor. You know what I'm going to do with the towel today? And again, this is just optional. You don't have to if you feel absolutely fine with the lumbar spine. In fact, I don't want you to use the towel if you feel great, okay? So we're going to place the towel underneath the pelvis. That's not quite right. Here we go. So what it does, it gives you the support so that lower spine can lengthen away without having to recruit so much of the abdominal. All right, so use a towel if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to either. All right, now have your hands in front of you. Stack one palm on top of the other. Okay, right. Neck is long. The head is just slightly floating off your hands. I want your legs to be nice and long behind you. They are together or slightly apart in parallel position. So we're going to power that pelvis down towards your feet, right? So the towel helps you to elevate that lower abs. So give that lower back a bit more support here. And I want you to glide the shoulder blades down and just gently lift the upper back off the floor. All right, there we go and then come back down again. And again, inhale, we lengthen the shoulder blades down. We lift the back up to extension. Exhale, we return. Inhale, we lengthen the shoulder blades down. We lift the upper back up to extension and Exhale. So if you like the towel, you can use the towel in any other class that you do to give that extra support. And inhale. And exhale. Now I want you to hold the last one. Inhale and hold that. So keep the upper back on. And I want you to reach one leg off the floor. Lift the abdominal up and then we lower. And then the other leg, reaching off the floor, keep the neck long, and then we lower. And we reach, keep changing legs, and lower. Inhale, reach, exhale, inhale, reach, exhale, inhale, reach, exhale, inhale, reach. And reach. Let's do one more each side. And reaching. Last one. And reaching. Keep lengthening the sitting bone down to your feet. And we lower the chest down. Okay. Now bring your arms on the side of the shoulder. Push the floor away. Round the back. Bring your pelvis to your sitting, to your heels. For your rest position here. Keep curling the pelvis, maybe wriggle left and right if that feels good for you. In breath, exhale, let's roll up the spine. Okay, let's finish up the class with some standing exercises. All right, now have your feet, let's put the towel away. Have your feet in small V, in V position. You can have your hands on your Hip join on your waistline here, standing nice and tall. We inhale, we bend, pull the abdominal and lift up. Inhale, we bend, exhale. So I want you to feel the inner thigh drawing up as you straighten the legs. Now as you go down again, your spine stays nice and long and we don't wanna tip the pelvis back and the body forward. How tall can you keep your body? Maybe you don't go far and that's all right. Exhale, let's go two more, and last one. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to rise up. All right, we're going to rise up onto the ball of the feet. Whoops, we're going to find that balance, and then we're going to bend, and we're going to lift, and we're going to bend, and then we lift. Can we get that balance? 
and then lift. So I'm thinking, as I come up, thinking about pulling my knees up to my pelvis. I'm not pushing my knee back, but upward. Remember that jeans, tight pair of jeans. You're gonna scoop, not scoop, you squeeze yourself up in that jeans as you come up and straighten the legs. And lift. And three more lift. And two more lift. And last one, lift. We hold, 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 hold. Can we hold a little bit more? Stay there for five, four, three, two, one. And we lower. Well done. Have your feet packed to parallel. Just shake it out. Move your pelvis left and right. Let it be loose. Okay, and come back to a stillness. One roll done, and we're done. Take an in breath. Softening through the knees, exhale, allow the head to knot down and the spine to continue its journey forward. Vertebrae by vertebrae, down to the floor, in breath. Exhale, we roll up, 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 and we lift. Take an in breath here. Exhale. And you are done. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you for sticking up with me and completing the class. Remember, the days that you don't feel like you want to do anything the most is the day you need to come back on the mat and do something about it. And do this class again, okay? Come and revisit this class regularly so you feel fantastic. Right, have a fantastic day and thank you. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I am Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.